Hey everyone, this is Grant from Spectre Racing. So, we are in the F-150 with Open Pilot. This is the Comma 3X, uh, the kind of autopilot enabler. Uh, most of these cars come with a version of autopilot already. Um, however, it's not very good, especially in like Toyota's case. Uh, the Ford is pretty good. I, my daily driver is a Tesla. The Tesla is very good. Uh, so I'm trying out Open Pilot. So this is a little device you add your car, you, you intercept the signal. You see I had to, on the F-150, you have to wire it down in the footwell. In most cars, it's going to be up here where your camera is. Uh, the F-150 was recently added to Open Pilot, so I'm one of the first people uh, outside of the beta. I did not participate in the beta. Uh, so we're going to get driving here um, to show you. And one of the big things compared to the other people that have videos is we will be towing. So as you can see, uh, we are towing a 20-foot uh, Pro Sport Futura lowering trailer with my track Mustang on the back, uh, Grid Life Street Modified. If you're watching this video for anything else other than uh, my usual race content, uh, I have loads of DIY, how to do autocross, those sorts of things. Um, but uh, yeah, so the total weight is uh, probably close to, the, the trailer itself is only about 1,400 pounds. I have added a little bit of weight to it, so let's just call it about 1,800 plus uh, 3,500 pound Mustang. Now I do have a light uh, anti-sway system. This is the Kurt Sway Bar. It's a simple bar system. It's really not meant for anything super heavy duty. Uh, the F-150 probably doesn't even need it for towing a trailer like this. Uh, I had it for my Tacoma, although I still find it adds a lot of stability. But I am still sort of new to Open Pilot itself. Uh, and let's get started. Okay, so one of the things to take into consideration is that the using the stock co-pilot system, it does not work with towing. All right, so you see on the setup on this car, I have, this is the Wolfbox G900 Pro. Um, the, the F-150 I have here is set up for uh, quote-unquote overlanding. And uh, whereas my version of overlanding is just uh, driving in the grass parking lot at a racetrack. However, I will need to be camping. So I have a whole bunch of camping crap bolted to it. I have eye camper and a uh, big box for the Jackery. So I can't really see out the back. Uh, and I like to keep tabs on the Mustang. And with the rock guard, uh, you can't really see it out the rear window if I didn't have the big Jackery box there. 1,000 feet, use the left lane to turn slightly left toward East Colonial Drive. Uh, but here's the comma 3X. This F-150 is pretty basic. It's an XLT, although it does have the tow package and the tech package, which includes all the co-pilot. I have co-pilot assist two, which is near impossible to figure out if you have. Uh, it's one of the requirements for the comma system. And basically just good luck trying to figure out if you have it. You kind of, if you go into the systems uh, in your, in your car and you look up the like the driver assistance crap basically if you have a lot of like the lane departure and cross pilot stuff use the that left usually is an indication that you have co-pilot assist drive, too then turn left. do not rely on ford's definition because they don't even use it consistently which is really annoying turn left toward east colonial drive then turn left onto east colonial drive Turn left onto East Colonial Drive. So this is the 5 liter V8 10 speed automatic. Um, it tows fine, just gets pretty poor gas mileage, it's mostly because all the Continue crap I bolted to the car. We're going to be getting on State Road 50 here in Orlando. Show you how it works in some of the traffic first, and I'll be doing lots of cuts here in the video, obviously, so you don't have to sit through all this. But compared to the Tesla system, uh, it's a tad more aggressive. In the Tesla system, I would say. Although it's a little bit better because, like, when lanes will divert and end, you know, when you have like two lanes to one lane, the Tesla system will tend to wander a little bit and get confused. This seems a little bit more confident. Okay, so we're going to be engaging it here. Now, I guess before we engage it, just uh, some controversial take. Some people don't think this is, you know, towing a little bit dangerous. I have a lot of experience with the self driving stuff. I have, I have over a decade of experience in towing. I also don't agree with the hands-free aspect of this. I will not be doing hands-free. I also don't agree with like foot, you know, your foot being completely off the brake or anything 
it is, however, nice having a system like this that uh, you don't have to tug down. The F-150's co-pilot is a little aggressive on how much you have to tug down on the steering wheel, and it just can get kind of tiresome after a while. But you see, engage it, and you have a little green line on the comma, and um, you set the speed and everything just like normal with the, uh, uh, you know, how you normally would with the normal co-pilot system. But yeah, you're cruising at 50 miles an hour on State Road 50, no issues. Okay, so we've been on a more of a state road here, and one of the things I have noticed, uh, at least while towing, uh, I haven't actually used this thing too much in not towing. Uh, the real, real purpose of it was for towing about 10,000 miles this year uh, on the way to various grid life events, is it does tend to ride the right side a little bit. You can even see on the green line that on the Comet 3X display, it's showing up on the GoPro. Uh, it's riding about, I don't know, three inches off the line on the right side. Uh, so it is a little bit close. Uh, this road is a little bit more narrow. Uh, so I guess at least it's okay. So, but I guess if you do have anyone, you know, in the in the emergency lane, you would probably want to disengage it. And I'll have to see if there's settings in the open pilot to maybe offset the line a little bit, maybe while towing. Okay, so coming up here is something that my Tesla kind of has a little bit of trouble with. This is a like a fork divergence in the road. Uh, the Tesla will tend to hug to the right and almost take the right lane. So let's see how the open pilot does. So we wanna obviously go left here. And the open pilot did it just as badly as the Tesla. Although the Tesla kind of sharply corrects a little bit. Um, I probably won't be able to get a comparison for you. But uh, man, it drifted off to the right a little bit. I guess the problem is I'm not sure if uh, the open pilot knows where we're going exactly. I don't know if there's any kind of maps integration as far as I know, or if it talks to Android Auto at all. But now we're going up to about 60 miles an hour. Uh, taking this road here on the way in, I had a pretty bad crosswind. The, the, the weather's been changing here a lot in Florida, and uh, I had at least a 10 mile an hour crosswind and uh, no issues with sway or anything. Like I said, this is an open trailer we're carrying, and I have good uh, for the open trailer, I have good sway control. Uh, not to mention this car is heavy to begin with. The actual modifications to the truck in order to help it tow a little bit better too is I have LT tires. It's on BFG T8 KO3s. It has a rear sway bar. Um, and again, I have a lot of experience towing. But yeah, we're going about 60 here. And speed limit 60. Uh, you can see it's tracking nice and straight. The road is little bit wider here so it's not riding the lane as much. Uh, you can see it's a little uneven but it's still tracking pretty nice and straight. Uh, no sway issues. One of the other things that came up, uh, and it might be because I'm only like this thing is very early out of beta, uh, I am getting a blind spot uh, in the list system. I forgot it's blind spot something system uh, fault uh, when I boot up the uh, car for the first time um, and the other thing I ran into is when I was using the system not towing and then I switched to putting you know plugging in a trailer the comma actually threw an error and said uh, vehicle not recognized uh, I rebooted the comma and uh, that error actually went away uh, I believe that was because I am running the OBD2 connector on the comma system and it um, I don't think it likes switching from, from non-towing to towing mode. Rebooting it was fine, and then I've done about four or five power cycles and no issues with the comma system in the towing configuration right now. Okie dokie, so we're gonna be getting on the highway here. This is the first time me using the system on the highway. I will only be going the speed limit. I have it added up to 65 on the state roads here. Like I said, no problems. The only thing I've kind of had trouble with is getting the the right turn going from uh, lane changing from uh, middle lane to right lane. I can't seem to get that to work. Uh, going to make a left turn seems to work fine. Okay, so we're in the right lane, going about 70 miles an hour. Let's engage the system. So I can see, with a bit of the crosswind, I can see how it can kind of induce sway. Um, it does want to have a tendency to try and adapt to the crosswind a little bit. 
still rides about the trailer, not the not the vehicle itself, the tow vehicle. The trailer still rides about three inches off the, the white line. Yeah, so I can see how you could probably not want to go any faster than 70. Some of the complaints I saw were people in Texas, you know, where the speed limit's like 90, or it's like 80 or 85. Uh, I can see that being a problem, where especially uh, with a big RV, um, you may want to try some of the more, in the experiment, we're in the basic open pilot mode, there's experimental modes with more settings and stuff, and there's also other forks of open pilot uh, that are geared towards uh, forwards and such. Uh, those may be a little bit better to try too, that may be something I'd try. Uh, like I said, this is still an, I'm still more of an early adopter and I've only been using this for a few days now. So we'll do a lane change. You hit the... I got a car coming. The blind spot uh, things don't work and the way the lane changes is the, 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 the comma is actually looking at you. So I hit the soft lane change and then nudge the steering wheel a little bit. So I did a lane change. So the problem is, is I can't seem to get that to work in the other direction. Let's try that again here. And yeah, it's giving me some kind of error. So I'll have to look that up, see why it's doing that. I'm disengaging now. I gotta get off this exit. But yeah, I could see some of the early complaints. Um, I definitely probably wouldn't use this system over about 70 miles an hour. I would definitely have a very good sway control system. Uh, but uh, it works beautifully at about 70 or below. I think the sweet spot is, seems to be about 65 miles an hour. And uh, yeah, so definitely I'll circle back uh, after I put some more time on this in miles. Like I said, I have five events to go to, about 10,000 miles of towing and uh, report back 